Dog owners feed their dogs a ton of different kinds of foods, from raw meat to commercial dry and canned food to even table scraps. And since dogs are very open to trying new foods, this makes it tempting for owners to spoil them with foods that they probably shouldn't be eating. Many foods that owners give to their dog can cause digestive issues, weight gain, intestinal blockages, pancreatitis, and even cancer. And one common food actually causes many of these problems. So, are you feeding any of these potentially harmful foods? Let's find out. The first one is peanut butter. Dog owners often freeze peanut butter in a Kong toy as a treat, or they give it with medication. It's a tasty, creamy, easy treat that dogs love, so where's the harm in it? First of all, peanuts are very high in fat and calories. In fact, one tablespoon alone is about 100 calories, and it certainly takes more than one tablespoon to fill a Kong, sometimes up to eight. So your dog may end up consuming 200 to 800 calories just from peanut butter. This, on top of the food that they're already eating, can lead to significant weight gain. When I worked at a pet boarding facility, there was a giant schnauzer that always came in with jumbo kongs. And they were filled to the brim with about eight tablespoons of peanut butter, which can be up to 800 calories. He got one of these every single night. On top of calories, you also have to worry about sweeteners, the first one being sugar. Excess amounts of sugar can cause blood sugar levels to spike and can even be a contributor to diabetes later in life. Now, before you look for peanut butter with a sugar replacement, think again. Many sugar-free peanut butters are sweetened with xylitol, which is highly toxic to dogs and can cause liver failure, incoordination, and seizures. If you want something to fill your dog's Kong with, skip the peanut butter and go with a healthier alternative like frozen bone broth or kefir. The next harmful food is cooked bones. Picture this, your family just made some T-bone steaks and your dad decides that instead of tossing the bone in the trash, he'll give it to the family dog sitting patiently under the table. What a lucky dog, right? Eh, not so much. When raw bones are cooked, the protein structure of the bone is completely altered. So dogs that consume cooked bones can suffer from intestinal blockages and punctures. My grandparents gave their dog cooked steak bones pretty often, and I certainly gave them a lecture when I found out. Thankfully, she was a small dog, so she only chewed off the meat remnants, but if she would have swallowed any of that cooked bone, she could have been in surgery days later to remove it from her GI tract. So, if you're like my grandparents and assume your dog is just chewing the meat off, you're taking a big risk, not only because of the bone, but because your dog may end up getting pancreatitis from eating so much cooked fat. What's pancreatitis? Well, this brings me to the next dangerous food, fried food. I see this all over the internet. It's the owner's dog's birthday and they wanna give their dog a special birthday meal. So what do they do? Go through a fast food drive-through and order fried chicken nuggets, of course. Well, it's meat, what's so bad about it? The rendered fat. Fat is abundant in fried food and cooked rendered fat can be a common trigger for pancreatitis or inflammation in the pancreas. Now, fat is your dog's main energy source, so it's still necessary to their body. However, if it's rendered cooked fat that's consumed in large quantities, this can put stress on their pancreas. Once the pancreas becomes inflamed, your dog will start to show signs of gastric distress. At this point, they'll need to get to a vet right away before symptoms get worse. Okay, this next harmful food may surprise you. Dry dog food, yep. The food that thousands of owners feed every single day is actually quite harmful to their dog. Ideally, meat should make up most of a dog's diet, but unfortunately, it's mainly made up of carbohydrates like rice or beans, which helps keep the dry food's shape. Sure, dogs can eat grains and legumes, but because they're a meat-eating species, their body needs a diet that's mainly made up of meat, organs, and raw bone. Many dry foods are loaded with carcinogenic ingredients that keep the food shelf-stable, one being BHA, which has been linked to cancer and reproductive disorders. 
Artificial flavors, aromas, and colors are also added to make the food more desirable, and not just for the dog. Pet food companies use dyes to trick the owner into thinking that there's fresh red meat and green veggies in the food, but in reality, these are only artificial dyes called Red 40, Yellow 5 and 6, and Blue 2. These dyes have been linked to cancers, allergies, and tumors. And this is just the beginning of the poor ingredients found in commercial dog food. Watch these videos to learn more about the harmful effects of dry food in more detail.